Now at five, the four former Minneapolis police officers arrested in connection with the death of George Floyd now face federal charges. A three count federal indictment was unsealed today. The charges say the men willfully violated Floyd's civil rights. CBS 4's Michael George has more. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin has now been indicted by a federal grand jury just weeks after being convicted on state charges for the murder of George Floyd. The three count federal indictment accuses Chauvin and three other former officers, Thomas Lane, Jay King and Tu Tao of violating Floyd's civil rights. Count one alleges Chauvin used unreasonable force. New York Law School professor Rebecca Royfe explains this means Chauvin now faces another trial, this time federal, with a new jury. It alleges that the officers violated George Floyd's civil rights, meaning that they interfered with his constitutional rights here, the right to be free from an unreasonable seizure, which also involves the right to be free from an unreasonable use of force. Tao and King were charged in connection with failing to intervene to stop Chauvin while he knelt on Floyd's neck. Chauvin is also facing a second federal indictment, this one for an incident in September of 2017. He's accused of holding his knee on the neck and back of a handcuffed 14-year-old for 17 minutes. Floyd family attorney Ben Crump responded in a statement, quote, we're encouraged by these charges and eager to see continued justice in this historic case that will impact black citizens and all Americans for generations to come. Royfe says being charged federally after a state conviction is unusual, but it's a sign the federal government wants to make sure Chauvin and the other defendants face consequences. After this year of um, reckoning with racial justice issues, the federal government, especially under Biden, wants to make a clear statement about its stance with regard to police brutality. All four also face charges for failure to provide Floyd with medical care. Michael George, CBS News, New York.